Hey guys, Steve. Uh, today is Saturday, January 10th, 2015. Uh, welcome to part two of this inst of today's installments of Steve's Daily Diecast Finds. Um, as I mentioned in my part one, uh, I had several pieces to share with you today because of what I found and because of uh, the the pieces that I f uh, picked up at our club meet, our monthly club meet uh, today. So the first part one is all Hot Wheels. Part two here is just a mix of a little bit of everything else. Um, we're going to start with Matchbox. Um, don't have too much to share with you, but I please watch to the end because I have a very special piece I want to share with you at the end that, I, that I've been dying to share with you. So check it out. So uh, this is the latest Matchbox case that's getting uh, dropped uh, in two different places. Um, surprisingly, I found the... Um, some of the stuff, uh, uh, as far as the new case is concerned, at Kmart. I uh, found it in the last couple days. And this uh, this particular case was also landing at Dollar General. So check those out if you are a Matchbox collector. Um, new stuff, um, several pieces here that I'm going to show you. Nice pieces. Uh, the first one here, is specifically, is one I am uh, was uh, dying to uh, look for and find. This is the recolor, the new, the Dodge A A100. Uh, in purple, uh, MBX Auto Parts, really nice piece. Um, can't wait to do open this up. Um, I want to find some more so I can do a couple customs and wheel swaps like I did with the first one. But very cool piece. Um, this one particular piece I found in the case at Kmart. Actually, I'll do all the ones I found in Kmart first, um, and the ones I, and, the, and the ones I found at Dollar General second because, um, from what I'm hearing. Uh, it sounds like uh, they are the cases are split between different pieces, okay. Uh, but this was the Kmart. Uh, there were two of these each uh, per case, okay. The next piece I want to share with you. This is actually I think a carryover from the last case. Um, we're finding more of these. This is the '93 Ford Mustang LX SSP, um, a piece that was also to a case. Um, these were originally hard to find, but very very sought after. Um, because of the Mustang and, and because of being a uh, police car. Uh, so this one carried over, I believe, into this uh, fresh case as well. This one I found at Kmart, um, but, uh, but I also found it in the Dollar General case. The next piece, um, one that I've been looking forward to, is, of course, the Subaru Impreza WRX police car. Um, I also found this in both uh, the Kmart and, and Dollar General case. Um, I think there these were probably in the neighborhood of two to three pieces per case. Cool piece. Nice wheels on that one. Okay. Um, here, Dune Dog. Um, pretty cool casting. Also found at the Kmart and Dollar General case. Um, very similar to the ones that have been released prior. Just a recolor. So cool, cool looking one. I have an orange. Um, okay, so here, this particular piece, this is the new ink scraper. Um, uh, if you're one of those, like a lot of Matchbox collectors, uh, uh, do collect the ink um, branded blue and yellow castings. Uh, so this is the latest one. This one I only found in, not only did I find it in the Kmart case, but it's also um, from reports I'm um, talking with other people. This is actually... Um, I've only I've only heard heard or seen one per case, so this may be a hard to find piece. So keep a lookout if you're a collector of the ink uh, cars. Okay. Okay. And then finally, from a Kmart case, um, this particular piece was in the Kmart and Dollar General case. Uh, this is the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4 off road. Definitely going to be sought after by the VW fans. All right, the last two pieces um, I did not find in Kmart case, Kmart uh, case, but I did find in Dollar General. Um, this is the Runway Wrangler, very cool piece. Must for sure, yeah, pretty cool. I guess you could put a car on top of it if it's small enough, maybe like a bug or something like that, or a mini. Okay, cool service truck. And then finally, this particular piece is going to be um, sought after as well. This is also only in the Dollar General case. Um, this is the new Checker Cab. Um, although this was only, this was still two, two, I think two a case from what I'm hearing. So very cool. I found two of these. Um, one, one I'm giving to a buddy of mine. 
Okay. All right, so that's the Matchbox. Um, next, what I want to share with you, um, this particular piece is the M2 Foos 67 Chevy Nova Cherry Nova. This is the Zamek version. Um, this is a the chase one of the chase pieces. I have the regular version and the super or what they call the prime chase. Uh, I just needed the regular chase and I traded this with Ken uh, for the Zamek Raw Camaro. Uh, this is limited to 1,000 pieces. So thanks, Ken. Good looking piece. You know some of my viewers um, like the M2s, particularly the M2 chases that I feature. Okay. Um, so this particular piece, uh, we did um, in the in the in the club. We actually did a Secret Santa, um, and the rules were basically anything under ten dollars. Um, so this is the piece, one of the pieces that I got. I think is really cool. This, hopefully, I can share easy way to share it here. Uh, lift it up. This is um, I never heard of this brand. It's called Bully. Um, this is a as you can see here. There you go. This is a 2002 Mercedes-Benz CLK. Um, basically, in our Secret Santa, uh, keep it under ten dollars, and you basically just specify on a piece of paper what you, what kind of castings you prefer. Um, and I particularly wrote down that I, you know, I primarily am into JDM and Euro, and so this is one of the pieces I got. So very cool. Uh, thanks, Ken. A different Ken. Um, this one's supposed to, I have to check the batteries, but apparently this the, has a button on here, under here and it's supposed to light up, but since it's an old piece, I'm sure the, the batteries will probably have died. Hopefully it takes, you know, something like a standard button battery, but I'll check that out. But very cool piece. Might open up, we'll see. Comes in this cool little packaging tube, I guess you will. Okay. All right. Um, this is a piece I got from today's um, club as well. This is uh, actually I got through a raffle. Um, Racing Champions. It's a 71 Plymouth uh, GTX, I believe. Uh, issue number 98 it says. It's a, um, it is a, uh, they call it a limited to 10,000 pieces. So, and I like the, the fact that it's a police car. Older police car. So, pretty cool. All right. The last ones I want to share with you are my, my Disney Pixar cars. Um, these particular pieces I got from the Disney store. Um, these are, I'm going to lead, show you these next four pieces leading up to the one big piece that I really want to show you. Um, we'll start with this one. Uh, this is the latest in the Chasers. Um, these are, of course, the Disney store, um, P Disney store Pixar cars die cast line. Um, these are 1 43rd scale. And this is the new packaging. Uh, they kind of switched packaging from the hard acrylic cases that you're going to see in a second, or as, as far as the main lines are concerned. And I've mentioned in several of my videos that they're not called chases anymore, they're called chasers. This particular piece is, of course, the Lightning McQueen uh, chaser, and Pala 13 1969 re entry specialist. So, of course, this uh, Light McQu Lightning McQueen in his uh, space get up there. So that's what they're packaging the, the regular um, 40, 143rd scale die cast cars in. The next three are um, pieces that I've been looking for to find some more. I have a couple already that I featured earlier. Um, these are the what they call the Disney Store Custom Uniques um, or the Artist Series. This is uh, Finn McMissile. Um, these are priced at about three to four dollars more than the regular pieces. Um, so they're priced at about ten dollars. And let's get some light on here. Yeah, let me adjust that. Apologize. There we go. So, very cool pieces. Um, they're all kind of colored, um, have the same color, um, the, the, the dark gray and the light gray. Um, this is the type, type of case, this acrylic case here, is the kind of case that um, the, um, the regular regular cars used to come in until they switched formats so um, so this is one of the newer um, artists series um, another one I got here is Holly Schiffwell okay I think this is there's a total of five of these out now that I know of at least that that's how many I have now this is Holly Schiffwell with the, um, the wings um, from Cars 2 
Okay. And then we have the final one, which I really like the color. I love the color combination on this one. This is Lightning McQueen as well. This is also the Artist series. Um, this has a little bit of more of an orange color um, accents. Very cool um, deco on that one. Okay. Okay, there's the top. Nice wheels. Okay. Alright, so those are the, the five new, the four new um, pieces that I got as far as the Disney store. Now, <coughs> the one piece that I was waiting to show, share, dying to share with you guys. Let me back my camera up here. Um, so, this is, uh, oh, there's only two, there's two versions of this. Um, there's red version and then this version, I, which is the red version of what I'm going to show you now is the piece I originally was going into the store to buy. Um, and then of course when I walked in they had this particular piece. What we have here, okay, so first of all this is um, Disney Store exclusive. It is 1 18th scale so you can kind of see the size of it. It's pretty big. It's about 1 18th, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, definitely a lot of fatter. Um, but here, this is the also a um, the designers the excuse me the artist series, um, just in a bigger version of it. It's a very cool piece. It is Lightning McQueen, so silver, um, kind of Zamic raw Zamic version of it. Okay. Um, it's supposed to. I gotta play around with it and maybe take it out of the case, but it's supposed to light up. I think the headlights are supposed to light up and the taillights light up. Um, let me take this off here. Um, very heavy piece. I haven't weighed it yet, but it's uh, definitely all metal. And um, it's got little flaps that pop up here. Like that. Um, move it, move, um, hood obviously opens up. Lots of detail in the engine. Cool wheels. Okay. And they call it the Artist Series because um, I think they there are four artists that worked on cars, and this is um, the the four uh, artists that are are kind of named. And it. it's kind of very cool case. Um, let me tilt it back here. When you open it up here, um, you have access to the bottom there to un to unscrew it from the base if you want. Got some information here on the bottom. It's all magnetic, so. Um, very cool piece. I, I'm really happy. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the money on it, but I'm glad that I did now. And hopefully, um, if they can, if I can still get one, I want to get the red one. Um, it's not just a red, um, but it's got um, it's a racing red almost. So, and this one obviously is designed after kind of they kind of designed it after um, a, a jet. So, uh, rubber tires. Okay very heavy piece so that's what I really wanted to show you I hope you like it um, Disney store this retails um, I'm hoping the other one comes down in price because they are kind of pricey this one retails for seventy dollars okay it's got some information on what the actual artist series is okay uh, I'm just reading this here if there's anything in information here yeah, so this guy here says this, he's one of the original creators of the Pixar Cars concept and the movie, so. Okay. Alright, so that's what I have. I'm glad, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I sure do. If you're not, um, that's okay too. Um, it is pricey, it is big, so you gotta make sure you have room to store it or display it. Um, I'm gonna look for room, if I, even if I don't. Um, until then. Happy hunting. Uh, don't forget to check out part one if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.